Hello, this is Food Review UK and you're watching Top of the Pops. My name's Stuart and I'm going to review a review Quantum Berliner Schwarz beer. This is a weak beer, it's only 2.5%. That's very, very weak for me. And it's a black beer. I'm not really sure what to expect. I got this from a garden centre, of all places. Um, and it's really local to me. It's from Stockport. Um, I've never had this before. I've never had any beers from this brewery before. Never heard of this brewery before. So I'm really looking forward to it. I believe that this is a sour beer. Now, I'm not an expert on sour beer at all, but I'm not expecting it to taste sour because by my understanding, this, the sour from sour beer comes from the fact that it's, it's made with a, a sourdough rather than, rather than yeast, much like you'd make a sourdough bread. So it's a, a, a dough that you keep going for a long time. Uh, rather than putting fresh, you know, fresh yeast in. Um, it smells really odd. I mean, it says on the back here, well, it doesn't say anything. It's got nothing about the taste of it. It's got a list of four different malts that are in it, and aged cluster hops. So obviously it's called Berliner Schwarz, Berlin Black. I'm expecting this to be a really dark beer. So should we have a look and see? Oh, yeah, that's black. I mean, that's... That's almost stout black. There we go. Now, it's a really specialist beer, this. I don't think you're going to be able to get it up and down the country. There are a lot of real kind of trendy craft beer shops opening. It might be that you could find this in one of those. But like I say, I got it from Bent's Garden Centre in Lee. Um, I got picked up a couple of beers out. It was expensive, particularly for a beer at 2.5%. I think I paid about £2.50 or something for a small bottle but I've been really looking forward to trying this it smells it smells dark it smells caramelly and uh, really roasted much like you'd expect with a, 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 a stout or something like that or a, a porter it's not a lot of smell but it's pleasant okay really really dark light carbonation rooms there's no head on this it's a you don't a lot of bottled beers you don't get one Oh my, I said I wasn't expecting sour, oh that's sour, that's real, really sour, the sourness gives it uh, an, almost a, a carbonation feel in your mouth, it's, it's a bit like eating sour sweets, this is a really weird beer drinking experience, it's not, I mean it tastes like beer and it smells like beer, but the, that sourness is, it's really punchy. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's it's delicious. It's very um, the beer itself is very thin, very watery. And that might be partly because it's um, it's not so strong, so you get a different mouthfeel. Not so much alcohol stuck covering my face up with the glass. That's I do really like it. It's just a completely different beer drinking experience to anything I've had before. I've had one sour beer before, and it was a little bit sour. It was a lot stronger, a lot, a lot more alcoholic. It was about eight and a half, nine percent. So it was a very different prospect. Um, I could absolutely see myself drinking this again. I don't think it's a beer that I'd want to drink a lot of. It's a very, very tasty beer. My mouth is dripping with saliva. It's so sour. Maybe I'm wrong about the sourdough thing. Maybe it is the sour is referring to the flavour or maybe the sourdough makes it sour. No, um, it's really nice. I couldn't justify spending that much money on, on bottled beers that are small bottles, generally. Um, but as a treat, you know, every now and again I like to buy myself some more expensive beers and, and treat myself. I would definitely buy this again. This is, taking all things, taking the price into consideration, and particularly the ABV of it being very low, I'm going to have to knock it down a little bit. I think if it was... If it was really either really affordable, or if it was a, a more premium ABV, it might edge into a five stars. But as it stands, I'm going to give this beer a, a, a four star, a solid four star. You're not going to want to drink a lot of it because it's so different. But it's really refreshing. It's so you wouldn't expect it. It's so dark. You're expecting a stout or a porter. And it's, it's, it's not. I can't recommend this highly enough. If you like beer and you like to try something different, Quantum, Berliner Schwarz, I mean, definitely worth, if you're a, a, 
beer hound like me, it's definitely worth tracking down and trying. If you, I mean, if you are, if you're, if you're up on sour ale, sour beers, please get in the comments and, and give me some recommendations because this is great. I've got one more sour beer to try and review that I'll, that's going to be coming up soon. So if you'd like to see more re, uh, reviews of beer, another review of sour beer, or from all the other great programs on Food Review UK, subscribe. Please do like as well. Please get involved in the comments because it's uh, it's lovely to hear what you think and give us your suggestions to myself and to all of the other Food Review guys. And also, don't look down on poor MJ because his beard is not as good as mine. It's just a fact, you know, he's got to live with that every day. Let's not, let's not make it a big issue for him because I'm sure it's painful, really, really painful for him to see me wearing the beard of beer when he's, you know, the bum fluff of junk food. So, thank you for watching Food Review UK. Subscribe, like, I'm Stuart. See you later.